Hello, this is the lecture number six for the chapter sets of class 11th and we are starting with exercise 1.5 in which we have to find the complements of the given sets and uh, we have uh, discussed in the basics of this chapter to how to find the uh, complements of the sets. I am taking the question number three of this uh, exercise. Uh, because the questions given in is in the set builder form so uh, you have, when you have to find the complement or intersection like this you have to first of all convert into the roster form so it is given that universal because to find the complement of set we must have the universal set so in question number three the universal set is given as the uh, natural number and in the first part the set a is given as the even natural number the so two four six eight and so on and uh, its complement will be uh, all those elements which not belong in this set but in universal so it will be 1, 3, 5, 7 and so on which is the set of order natural number so you have to write the answer in this set builder form because the question is given in the uh, set builder form itself. In the fourth part it is given that x is the natural number divisible by 3 and 5 so x is a natural number which is a uh, uh, fourth part sorry so it is a x is a prime number so 2 3 5 7 11 13 you have to find the complement of this so it means uh, those element which not belongs to in this set but in universal so it will be 3 4 6 8 10 9 10 and so on means x is a composite number including 1 why am i including because the prime number and the complement this will be composite and because one is neither composite nor prime so i have to write here including one also so like this you can do the question number three all parts in question number four you have to prove the de morgan's law which we have done earlier in two ways by the venn diagram as well as by taking the examples when we are discussing the complements of the sets so here also i'll prove it the universal set is given as one two nine natural number the set is a given as two four six eight and the set b is given as three 2, 3, 5, 7, 9. Now you have to prove that A union B whole complement is equal to A complement intersection B complement. This is the De Morgan's law. On second part is uh, in place of union, if we have intersection here, then you have to bring union here. So we have to prove that A union B whole complement. So it means first of all, you have to find A union B. So it will be 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 is the union of these two sets. Now the complement of this will be those element which not belong to this A union B but in universal to 1 and 9 is not there in this to 1 9 is the A union B ka whole complement. Now you have to find A complement intersection B complement to A complement those element which is not in A but in universal so it is 1 3 5 7 and 9 and B complement those in not in B but in universal so it is 1 4 6 8, 9 and the intersection of these two is common to this 1 and 9 is common to these two so they are equal to each other so we can say that A union B whole complement is equal to A complement intersection B complement this is the De Morgan's law similarly we have to prove that A intersection B whole complement is equal to A complement is equal to B complement union B complement is also a De Morgan's law so first of all find A intersection B that is an element common to A and B is only 2 and the complement of this will be 1 3 4 5 6, 7, 8, 9, then A complement, union B complement, <coughs> the union of <coughs> A and B, A complement and B complement is 1, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So these are the element of this A complement, union B complement, which is equal to this. So therefore, A intersection B whole complement is equal to A complement, union B, which is the De Morgan's law. Now in question number 7 you have to fill the blank a union a complement is equal to universal we have discussed in the basics now if we find the total element of a and those which is not in a will be equal to its universal now a com empty complement is equal to universal you know it and universal intersection a will be equal to a now a intersection a complement now a and a complement means those element which is not in a so there is no element common in these two so it will be empty now universal complement will be equal to empty and empty intersection A will be equal to empty like this. Universal complement empty, empty intersection A is equal to empty. So this is the exercise uh, 
five uh, in which we have to find the complements only now in exercise 1.6 based on the universe uh, cardinal number formula which we have discussed in the basics cardinal number formula is cardinal number of a union b is equal to cardinal number of a plus cardinal number of b plus cardinal number of a intersection b so this is the cardinal number formula in question number one directly you have to replace these values and the given values in the set the cardinal number of 17 a is given the cardinal number of y is given the cardinal number of union is given and the cardinal number of a intersection b you have to find out in question number one of 1.6 in question number two, the if x and y are two sets such that uh, x union y has 18 elements, so the number of element in x union y is given as 18, the number of element in x is given as 8, the number of element in y is given as 15, and you have to find the number of element in x intersection y. So you use this formula, cardinal number of x union y is equal to cardinal number of x plus cardinal number of y minus cardinal number of x intersection y replace these values in the uh, formula you will get the x intersection y in question number three it is a word problem in a group of 400 people 250 speak hindi so number of person who is speaking hindi is 250 it is given and the number who speak to english the so number of person who is speaking english is 200 then how you have to find how many person is speaking both the languages that is hindi and english you have to find and hindi union english the how many person uh, the total number of person is given that 400 so use this formula cardinal number of hindi union english is equal to cardinal number of hindi plus cardinal number of english minus cardinal number of h intersection uh, Hindi intersection English means the number of person who are is speaking both the languages to so replace union H or E you will get uh, Hindi intersection English that is the number of person who speak both Hindi and English you have to write in the end in the statement now this question you can do by the Venn diagram also you know how to draw the Venn diagram the rectangle denotes the universal set the two sets here denote h and e these circles and replace here a b and c now what what this a means a means the number of person who is speaking both hindi and english a plus b means the number of person who is speaking hindi a plus c means the number of person who is speaking the english and uh, it is given that the number of person who is speaking either hindi or english is that is a plus b plus c is given as 400 the number of person who is speaking hindi that is a plus b is given as 250 the number of person who is speaking english it is given as a plus c is equal to uh, 200 you have to find the value of a which can be obtained by solving these uh, three equation using the subsection method you will get the value of a and in the end you have to write in the statement that is the number of person who is speaking both the languages is 50 now try to do these types of question in using the Venn diagram because it will when it's become uh, somewhat easy than the uh, uh, this cardinal number formula in question number six <clears throat> it is given that uh, there are 70 group of 70 37 like coffee this I taken as coffee that is a plus B is given as 37 and uh, 52 like T T is A plus C, it is given as 52 and uh, there is a group of 70 people, so A plus B plus C is given as 70 and you have to find how many people like both tea and coffee, that is you have to find the value of A as we have done in question number this 3. So simplify these three equations to get the value of A, B, C, rather you have to find only the value of A which is coming out to be 19, so in the end you have to write that 19 person like both tea and coffee, 19 person like both tea and coffee in question number seven it is given that uh, in a group there are 65 people 40 like cricket so like this draw the van diagram a plus b is given as 65 uh, there's a group of 65 that is a plus b plus c is given as 65 now a plus b is 40 that the number of person who like cricket is a plus b it is 40 and the number of person who like tennis is a plus c uh, uh, you have to find and the number of person who likes both cricket and tennis is a or rather they play it you read the question they uh, like uh, how many person like tennis only and how many person like tennis you have to find now what is given a plus b plus c is given 
a is given and a plus b is given you solve these three putting the value of a in this you get the value of b replacing the value of a and b here you will get the value of c that is c means the number of person who like only tennis not cricket and the number of person who like tennis is a plus c this you have to find the number of person who like tennis is a plus c and the number of person who like uh, tennis only is c you see in the diagram very carefully in question number uh, eight, it is given that uh, in a committee, 50 speak French. So again, draw the Venn diagram, French, Spanish, ABC. It is given that 50 speak French. The French is A plus B. The number of person speaking French is A plus B. It is given as 50. Uh, 20 speak Spanish, which is A plus C. It is given as 20 and 10 speak both. That is the value of A is given. It being asked how many like at least one of the languages. How many like at least one of the languages means uh, the number of person who uh, speak either French, either Spanish or both. That is A plus B plus C you have to find. So A plus B is 50, A plus C is 20, A is given. Put the value of A here, you'll get C. Put the value of A 10 here, you'll get B. Number of person who speak at least one of the languages A plus B plus C replace it values. So you'll get the total number of how many person are there or how many people like at least one of the two languages it can be asked how many person uh, speak none of the language so how can you do it you subtract a plus b plus c from the total what is given from this and you'll get how many speak none of the language you'll get this type of question in the miscellaneous exercise okay we'll discuss the miscellaneous exercise in the next lecture thank you